Hi, this is George Cow. Welcome back to the LinkedIn course. Today's short video is about how I manage my LinkedIn inbox. And hopefully by watching this, you'll be able to do it more efficiently uh, on your LinkedIn account as well. So uh, first thing that I do, oh, let me get the whole thing into um, view here. First thing I do, of course, is go, go to the LinkedIn inbox. And uh, when I um, hover over this, rather than replying or deleting right from here, I like to click on the word messages, okay? Click on the word messages. And then that brings me to the inbox view, which is a lot nicer to be able to manage, et cetera. So um, it says I have 31, okay, what this number means, and this same number here, 31, 31. This means I have 31 messages I haven't yet clicked on to open and read. And that's what LinkedIn is tracking with that number. Now, a lot of my unread messages are actually really old. And the way that I can find out the oldest messages is by, or the, the unread messages, if I wanted to see them in one place, is by moving over my mouse over all messages and then I click unread. And then this will allow me to see just the unread um, messages. Now, as you can see, I've been doing some cleaning out of my LinkedIn inbox and my, my unread messages is today. And then the, the, the most recent one after that is from 2009, which is, wow, uh, many years ago now. Um, and so uh, anyway, I'm just going to show you if I were to click on this, of course, I'm seeing the message that uh, uh, Mr. Nazer has sent me. He's one of my, uh, one of my uh, previous professors. So it was nice to be able to connect with him here. Um, so typically, um, I mean, this is a short message. I don't, I don't really need to respond to it. He's just kind of saying thanks for making the connection. But if it was a longer one, you know, if he's saying, if he's giving me an update on what he's up to and he's asking me what I'm up to, then I would probably reply and says, you know, is it Ron, you know, I would, great, to see, great to hear from you. But I would make some, obviously make some comment about what he's up to, kind of maybe some, something supportive, something uh, excited for him. And then I'd share about what I'm up to. I'm not going to do that right now. I think that's uh, not necessary for this particular message. But let's go back. And you can see now, now that I've opened this message, now it says I only have 30 unread messages, right? So let's go back there. Oh, LinkedIn is, okay, there you go. I had to click on it again to, to get it to update. So let's go and let, let me show you how to clear a bunch of, and this is not LinkedIn bug. I already opened this, but it's still putting this under unread. But as you can see, I have so many unread messages. You'll know that it's unread because there's a dot. There's a blue dot here, and as well as the subject line is bolded compared to this one where there's no blue dot. I already read that one. And so the way to quickly clear your unread messages, I did this with hundreds of unread messages recently because uh, I hadn't been clearing my inbox um, for a couple of years, and I only started being better about my LinkedIn inbox in the past couple of months. So the way to do that is to click on this checkbox up here. First of all, make sure you go to unread messages, okay? And then click on this checkbox up here. I'm assuming that you've already clicked through to the messages that you actually want to read that are recent enough rather than years and years old, okay? So not, none of this is basically um, really relevant anymore because it's years old and people have moved on, et cetera, right? So I just, I click on this checkbox and then what I do is I click archive. And once I do that, it will automatically, not only will it archive it, but it automatically marks it as read. So that's a nice little tip there. Uh, again, click on this, okay, um, and then click archive, okay? I just wanna show you all the way, so click on this, okay, just checking, checking, doing a quick check to make sure. Again, these are all really old, so I'm not gonna respond right now. And then click archive, okay? And then once again, final one, um, uh, click archive. Okay, so you might be saying, well, George, what happens if I want to find those archive messages again? Well, the way you do it is you go to archive, <laughs> just like it says here. And under archive, you could, um, it's really strange that under archive, you would be able to click on red because, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so um, uh, this is actually, I didn't know this, but within archive you could still hover over this and go to go to unread so these are all the unread messages that i archive so that i don't have that number uh this will update to zero next time i refresh my linkedin screen here let me show you okay 
So you can see now this number is no longer zero and er, er, is, is zero. And every time I get a real new LinkedIn message from now on, instead of tracking all those old, old messages from 2009, uh, this will be able to show me the newest messages now. So under archive, you could still look at the unread messages if you wanted to, even though you archive them. Um, and you can also search. So I think I remember one of the messages was from Jeff McIntyre Strasburg. So if I can remember how to spell his name, I would do that. There it is. And so see from 2009, it shows up in search. So I hope that this is useful for you. Um, in terms of my actual inbox, I have a lot of messages that 64 pages of messages I haven't yet arc, I haven't yet put into the archive. And that's for another day that I'll probably do that. It's not a big deal for me because if I have clicked open it, if I've opened it already, I have the habit of responding right then and there. Otherwise, I will mark it. So for example, if I want, if I, if I, if I saw this and then I wanted, I wasn't ready to um, respond or read it right now, I would hover over more and, oh, I'm sorry, not, not more. I would go back to the main screen. I would click on this and I would mark as unread. You see? So now I can go just to my unread messages in the messages area and be able to, to go back and process these when I'm ready. So I hope that this is helpful. I'm always open to your questions and comments. And um, until the next video, wish you well.